I was in the military, as, as you know, for, for about 21 years. And before the military, and I was an engineer in the military, so this is going to sound weird, but before the military, I was a musician. And so I kind of always associated myself as like, like if you had to draw a line between art and science, I kind of straddled the line, right? I loved art. I was an artist, a writer, musician, all that kind of stuff. And then on the other side, I loved logical, like scientific things because I love the depth. Um, and I always thought, well, if I couldn't make a living as a writer or as a musician, I would get into something like engineering or medicine or something, right? Because I just loved it. And lo and behold, it, yeah, newsflash at 19, you really don't know how to succeed at anything, right? Like on your own with doing these things. So I was a musician and I was like, you know, I'm going to give the military a try. I need a steady paycheck. I need to go get an education. I didn't have any money for college. I didn't, yeah, I came from a very blue collar family and we just, we just um, were, were not the type of, we didn't have the means to just, you know, send kids to college and that kind of stuff. So I joined the military and I was like, oh, I can, I can learn engineering here and they'll actually, you know, take care of me, get me that training. So I had to kind of, in my mind at 19, I kind of thought I was shelving my creativity. And un obviously, unbeknownst to me at that point, I wasn't really doing that. I look back now and I kind of laugh. I thought it had to be this or that. And I had thought I was shelving my creativity. And, and over the years, it kind of actually led to a little bit of frustration because I felt like, you know, working within the government, working within the military as both an operator and as an engineer, I felt like I could be creative in some cases and not so much in others. Um, and as I got more and more senior, I felt more constrained. And I thought, you know, it's a good time to retire. So when I retired, I felt like I had this new opportunity to go do anything I wanted, to be creative, to have fun. But at the same time, I had the stress of leaving behind that steady paycheck. And I decided right. to step into entrepreneurship, like one step at a time. I was like, all right, I can make really good money doing what I've learned in the military, outside of the military, for the military as a government contractor. Let me get a good government contracting job. Let me do that work and, and just kind of start a side hustle, maybe <laughs> do some consulting, maybe do some training. And I woke up every day saying, man, if I could do the work in my side hustle every day, all day, I'd be super ecstatic. And so I said, well, fine, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a plan and I'll be able to transition to that when the time is right. And I didn't put any undue pressure on myself to do it in a certain period of time. I just said, when it's right, it'll be right. And that's what happened. I kind of put all the pieces in place and and then they all started to fall. All the levers were going. And before I knew it, I had one entrepreneurial effort up and running and then the other one was right behind it. So, yeah. That's amazing. And I think what you're describing, a lot of people from when I was younger, they made, you know, you can't be creative. You're not going to make money, right? But right. I think being creative helps solve problems. We yes. have to, and you've got that, the right brain, left brain. And so that's probably why you've been uh, successful. And I think it's so cool that you're being authentic about all this. And 